Hello everyone, and welcome to Bazaar, <laughs> a floating city in space. Hopefully, you saw the prologue video I posted on Friday, which provides the background story for this toy box adventure. But in case you missed it, this story takes place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The Rebels have learned that there's an Imperial Armada that's transporting a mysterious new weapon, and they need to destroy it. In order to get close enough to the Armada, the Rebels have sent Luke, Lando, and Chewbacca here to Bazaar in order to acquire a pair of TIE Fighters from one of Lando's black market contacts, a guy named Orion Ferret. Once they get the TIE Fighters, they also need to get the recognition codes for entrance into the Armada, and then they can infiltrate the Armada and find and destroy the weapon. So that is our mission, and we begin here in the hangar bay, um, one of the hangar bays in Bazaar, and uh, this is where we came in on the prologue, and Lando is up ahead with our mission, so let's go meet him. And as we approach him, you'll notice a little sound effect played, and we've been cut off from our ship. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's see what Lando says. So let's get started, he says. And on the radar screen, there's a yellow dot. So that is where we're going to find Orion Ferret. And you'll notice there's also a couple of side quests on the uh, uh, in the toy box here that we can play. It's such a big toy box, and uh, wanted there to be some more things to do besides just the main mission. So if we head over this way, and by the way, I really like how this turned out. The fact that you can see <laughs> outside of the uh, city is really cool. Well, let's do a couple of side quests on our way. So this guy wants our help rounding up some critters that got loose. And hopefully I can catch these guys fairly quick. just a simple little collection quest. And there's another one around the corner over here. Well, there's some of Ferret's goons looking for us. Let's see, there's another one. That should be the last one. There's only three. It's a simple little quest. Nice. <laughs> but the purpose of it's just to get you to look around and enjoy the toy box a little bit. So I like that. And we've got some townsfolk walking around. Oh, another enemy over here. A couple of them. You a lesson. <laughs> I just scared that townsperson down there. <laughs> oh, we got somebody behind us here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's kind of a neat uh, little toy box here. I really like it. Oh, some more goons. Oh, somebody must have snuck up behind us or something here. I don't see him though. 
Oh, here he is. I owe it all to my training. <laughs> oh, little droid. Kind of get a little bit more of a view from up here. So we've got kind of the rundown part of town over here. And then a little bit more upscale part of town over here. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, Dex over here with his diner. Let's go see what he wants. Can I ask you a favor, he says. So Dex has lost his droid. And we have kind of a little hide and seek game here. So we need to go see if we can find his droid. And a uh, little green dot over this way. So we do have dots on the radar to help us out a little bit. Yeah, that guy looks a lot like Wally. -E. <laughs> and of course, this little droid can spawn just about anywhere in this toy box, so. It'll be different every time you play it. Glad to see my training's paid off. <laughs> so, again, just a couple little side quests. They're not really necessary, but it's kind of fun. Gives you some more things to do in this toy box. But let's go down and meet Orion Ferret. And he is down this alleyway. Alright, so there's Orion Ferret, and it's looking suspiciously quiet here. <laughs> so, um, hmm. let's go talk to him. Yeah. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> uh oh. It's a trap! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, he's got his own plans for us. Phew. And now he wants to talk again. <laughs> No more! <laughs> He's singing a different tune now. I have a mission for you. So basically, his plan was to take our money and keep the TIE Fighters and the Falcon and then collect the bounty on us. Well, that didn't work out, so now he's being a little more cooperative. The TIE Fighters are hidden on Patch 4, which is a nearby disposal asteroid, and they're hiding in plain view among the rest of the junk there. But we can't get there without our ship. We need to access... The, we need to get the access key code from the security droids in order to lower the force field around the hangar bay. Um, this terminal over here is going to help us find the security droids. So uh, they're going to be in a different location every time we play this toy box. So our first step is to hack this. There we go. And now on the radar, in just a moment... We have a radar dot that's on there, so that tells us where to find the security droids. There's actually several radar dots. They're kind of stacked up on each other there. It looks like they're over that way. So if we look through there, they're up on that uh, ledge out that way. So that's where we have to go next. And as I said, they spawn in a different location every time, so this adventure is a little bit different every time you play it. You never know where you're going to run into everything. But that's kind of good because you get to see some different parts of the toy box every time you play. So there they are up at the end of that hallway. It's just really neat looking out the windows around here.
And there's the access key that we need to get the uh, falcon out of the <laughs> quarantine or whatever you want to call it. What's that word when the police lock up your vehicle? I can't remember. But anyway, that's what we need to get it loose. Okay, now that we got the access key, we can get out of here. But before we do, I want to come up onto this side of the toy box and take a look out the window over here. Alright, so there is patch 4 out that way. A little uh, floating asteroid out that way. So that's where we're trying to get to. And that's why we need the Falcon to get there. But yeah, this is pretty neat. I really like the way this turned out. The entrance to the hangar bays is right below us. About here. There we go. And there's two more hangar bays out this way, but there's nothing in there at this point. Okay, so now we've got the Falcon. Let's head over to patch four. Oops. All right, as you can see, it's a big junkyard. <laughs> and uh, all kinds of junk and debris and everything else on there. And two cages with TIE Fighters in them. So that's where Orion's hidden the TIE Fighters. So we're going to need to land here. So of course those things are locked up, but um, if we head over here, now we have some enemies spawning around the toy box, so <laughs> Ferret's got more goons guarding his uh, goods here. So. <laughs> That guy's always got a plan, sending us over here knowing that uh, we're going to have to battle all his goons to get to these things. And I think we're going to swap the Chewbacca in at this point, because I think that'll be kind of fun. throw him in the pit. <laughs> Chewie, you're not doing so good here, bud. There's one. Oh, grenade! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
too can play that game. <laughs> I want to make sure I get my sparks. Thought I heard some more bad guys here. Somewhere. Oh, yep, there he is. Another one around here somewhere. There he is. See ya. All right, there must still be another one hiding. <laughs> oh, there he is. And now we've got the key. we go we finally have the TIE fighters <laughs> so that was a bit of work um, so let's bring Luke back in with his flight suit on back already? and then we're gonna fly these to our hyperspace jump point which is out that way according to the radar And we'll go find that fleet. And uh, since this loads pretty quick, I'll just let this go ahead and load. I don't really need to fast forward this thing. But uh, this takes us to the next toy box. There's two toy boxes in this adventure. And this is the second one. Okay, so there is the Imperial Fleet, and um, we can fly directly to it, but without the recognition codes, uh, <laughs> they're going to start launching lots of TIE Fighters at us. And uh, if you want a challenge, you can do that, but uh, it'll make the mission a lot harder. On the other hand, there is a lone TIE Fighter out here on patrol, who's just kind of circling around. And um, if we can lure him down to this asteroid over here, then maybe we can get the recognition code for him. So let's bring this thing down and land over here. And uh, what we're going to do is set up a distress beacon up on top of this mountain. And so we're going to head up this way, and you can see there's a radar marker. It's guiding us up here. There goes that TIE fighter. <laughs> and there goes the distress beacon. So that should get this guy's attention. There he goes. And now he's going to be coming over here to land. And when he does, we can ambush him and hopefully get that recognition code from him. And there's the pilot. There we go. And that's just showing us where to find the, the code key, which we now have. And we can take either his fighter or ours. But with that, we can now safely approach the fleet. And they should not start attacking us immediately. Because <laughs> they recognize us as a friendly. Yep, so here we are in the fleet. And they're all happy as can be. Now the next stage of our mission is we got to find the ship that uh, has the weapon. And to do that, we need to fly as close as we can to the bridge on each of these. So we're doing a bit of a reconnaissance mission. And um, this is why it's really helpful not to have TIE fighters shooting at you while you're trying to do this. <laughs> so, like I said, if you want a challenge, you can go without the recognition code and proceed with this part of the mission. But 
you're going to be dodging a bunch of TIE fighters while you're trying to do your recon. And so this goes much easier. So it's just a matter of finding which ship it is. Oops. And it's a little different every time you play, it's a different ship. So you never know which ship is the one that's going to be transporting the weapon. Ah, that's the one. And as you can see, the computer's already set up some targets for us, and they've targeted that ship. We have to hit those targets three times in order to destroy that Star Destroyer. And of course, as soon as we hit the first target, um, <laughs> all heck's going to break loose here, so... There we go. I'm going to hit them three times. Yep, here we go. <laughs> Oh, those guys destroyed each other. Well, it makes my job easy. Oh. Of course, I am a lousy shot. These guys behind me, they were zeroing in pretty good. Oh man, I hit him several times. There we go. There we go, got him. Alright, let's get back to that Star Destroyer. This mission don't end until we get those targets. Oops, wrong one. By the way, every time you hit one of these targets, it launches more TIE Fighters. <laughs> ah, got to get one more hit on it. So this turned out to be a pretty fun space mission here. With some space combat and everything. Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of these TIE Fighters! <laughs> I mean, you are facing an entire fleet here, after all. So it, made, it would make sense that a fleet like this isn't going to send up one or two TIE Fighters. They're going to send up their whole squadron to protect that uh, Teasel. Alright, let's see if we can get that last hit. There we go! Got it! Mission successful. Now we gotta get out of here. But you can have fun taking out all the rest of the ties. Now that the mission's over, the pressure's kind of off. Whoops, I forgot to turn off one of those <laughs> targets. I thought I tested all of these, but I guess I missed a logic connection there somewhere. Oh man, I hit him!
Oh my goodness, I might have to fast forward through some of this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice, I think that's the last one. All right, let's get out of here. So that's my Star Wars toy box adventure based on the Marvel Comics story, Screams in the Void. I hope you've enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun to build and it's an exciting toy box to play. Before you go, leave a comment to let me know what you think of it. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Next time, I'll show you how to start building this toy box, and I'm going to build both toy boxes back to back. I'm not going to split the series up like I did with my Age of Ultron series, so you'll be able to build the full mission as quickly as possible. Well, that's all for me today. Take care.